From arms dealers and mass media publishers to the companies that run your daily life, these are the 10 biggest companies you never heard of. Number 10. Bertelsmann Bertelsmann is a German multinational organization. It is one of the world's greatest mass media publishers and also engages in education and the service sector. Bertelsmann was established as a publishing business by Carl Bertelsmann in 1835. Following the Second World War, Bertelsmann, under the administration of Reinhard Mann, went from being an average-sized enterprise to a dominant conglomerate, giving not only books but also music, television, magazines, business, and radio services. Bertelsmann is an unlisted and resource market-oriented firm, which remains principally controlled by the Mon family. Since 2016, significant divisions of Bertelsmann are Penguin Random House, the world's largest book publishing company, BMG, the music publishing company behind artists such as Celine Dion, Britney Spears, Aerosmith, DJ Khaled, and of course, the best soft rock band the world has ever seen, Nickelback. For our European viewers, you might be familiar with the RTL Group, which is another part of Bertelsmann. This company gives a new meaning to mass media. Number 9. The Simple Group Simple Group Limited is anything but simple. It is a conglomerate of independently run organizations that deal with tax planning. The core marketing areas are legal services, offshore banking, fiduciary activities, corporate service, offshore outsourcing, and uh, offshore business services. Simple Group Limited is a conglomerate that encourages secrecy. They are not registered on any stock exchange, and the organization is owned by a complex series of offshore companies to shield the owners. The Sunday Times reported that the Simple Group holds about 77 million pounds in uh, stockholders' money, which are mostly Swiss private bank owners. In other words, if you want to hide the 50 bucks your mom gave you for your birthday, get in contact with the Simple Guys. They will make sure the grubby hands of the government will never see a penny in taxes. I wonder if the Simple Group is a part of the recent leaks, the Paradise Papers? Also, I really don't buy the 77 million pounds number. I am guessing there is much, much more money tied up in there. Number 8. BAE Systems Insert Bay joke here. Bay Systems is the lar BAE Systems is the world's biggest arms producer according to SIPRI or the Stockholm International Peace Research Institute. It sells firearms to countries the UK Foreign Office Human Rights Record states as major countries of concern. Products cover combat nuclear weapons, aircraft artillery, guns, missiles, munitions, tanks, armored vehicles, warships, unmanned aerial vehicles, nuclear submarines, radar systems, and even shackles that can be found in Saudi Arabia and Guantanamo Bay. BAE's units are sold indiscriminately throughout the world. It has military consumers in over 100 countries. Main export deals include uh, sales to both Pakistan and India, which are kind of mad at each other right now, if you haven't heard. In 2008, sales exceeded 18.5 billion pounds, with approximately 95% of these comprising from military sales. Number 7. Johnson Controls Johnson Controls Incorporated is a diversified company made up of two main business models. It's the world's biggest independent producer of interior systems and automotive seating, and is the chief supplier of automotive batteries for the real equipment and replacement markets in South America, North America, and Europe. About 60% of their business goes to North America, of course. Over the course of a century, Johnson Controls has an extraordinary track record, including the continuous payment of dividends since 1885 and 57 continuous years of increased sales. A bit boring compared to international arms dealers, but seems like a safe investment. Number 6. Tata Motors Limited Tata Motors is 70 years old. The company started off as Tata Engineering and Locomotive Company, or Telco, in 1945, and they, of course, made locomotives. Their biggest success on the road has been the trucks they produce. They export them to about 45 nations, and for more than 50 years, they've had a pretty good run. Also, their small 407 vehicle transformed the small commercial vehicle space with an Indian-built solution. 
And Tata Motors also provides fully armored combat carriers to the Indian Army. That connection goes back decades. Oh yeah, the company also owns the Ewo and Jaguar Land Rover. Number 5. Cargill Cargill Incorporated is an American personally held global corporation located in Minnetonka, Minnesota. 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 Established in 1865, it is now the biggest privately held organization in the United States when it comes to revenues. Cargill provides 22% of domestic U.S. meat and 25% of grain exports. They also dabble in steel, transport, and energy trading. With 150,000 employees in 66 countries, Cargill is a story of massive generational success. The company has never left the families that created it over 100 years ago. A lot of people might say that Cargo is the cousin of Monsanto that never gets caught doing bad things. Or not yet, anyways. Number 4. World Fuel Services Do you ever wonder who provides the fuel for planes and ships on an industrial scale? It's none other than the aptly named World Fuel Services Company. They provide logistics, energy, and technology solutions to marine, aviation, and land suppliers. World Fuel grew its wealth at a blistering yearly rate of 39.8%, or just good enough to beat out Apple's average yearly growth rate of 39.2%. Number 3. Taiwan Semiconductor Speaking of Apple, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Corporation has been at the lead of chip design since its establishment in the 1980s. Well, apart from Intel and AMD, but oh well. Nowadays, they manufacture chips for some of the most significant clients in the world. Among many others, the organization manufactures chips for Apple, including the important A10 series. Apple is Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing's biggest client, accounting for one-fifth of their business. In total, sales surpassed $24 billion in the last financial year. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing sells chips to customers all over the developed world. By far, the organization's largest market is North America, which produced 69% of total profits. If you're watching this video on an iPhone, you're watching this on a Taiwan Semiconductor chip. Most likely. Number 2. McKesson Corporation the McKesson Corporation is the fifth-ranked company by revenue in the United States. With an operating income of $3.5 billion a year, the company breaks an astounding $190 billion in revenue a year. So what do they do? You! <laughs> No, nah, nah, just kidding, but not really. McKesson is deeply involved in the healthcare of America, distributing medical supplies, pharmaceuticals, and giant healthcare systems. This company is becoming more and more intertwined with the healthcare industry in the USA every year. Number 1. Serco Group Serco works in six sectors of public service supply, transport, health, defense, immigration, justice, and citizen services. Yes, a single company is responsible for most of the transport, health, immigration, prison, and citizen services in the UK. Just in case you missed it the first time I said it. Serco runs school investigations, speed cameras all over the UK, and the National Nuclear Lab. It's also responsible for the early warning ballistic missile defense systems in the country. All in all, Serco has 50,000 employees and an operating income of 45 million pounds. It doesn't seem like such a big number, right? True, but considering how many very important services the company runs, the value of the company changes tenfold. What do you think? Should these giant, too big to fail, control everything conglomerates exist? Should they be broken up? Let's discuss in the comments below. Check out the featured comment below, subscribe for more World on Earth, and I'll see you in the next video.